Um, as you saw that once I did a 60 roll I stayed in it it shifted a gear and I got up to about 145 and it felt real stable um, I don't really know how fast I'm going because I had the digital speedometer so I'm definitely not gonna look at it I'm just gonna kind of judge how the car is acting and how comfortable I am in my zone doing that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna attempt a dig run yeah I'm gonna go from a standing stop sorry from a standing still and see how the car does I don't think this is gonna help at all until about 100 but um get you some footage and end the video before i go to jail in mexico Alrighty, so after that wide open throttle pull with the spoiler on, I looked at the log and guess what? I still had a lean condition going on. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm done. I'm not gonna try to go too crazy. Let me just have more fuel, like more fuel than I'll ever need. So what I did is I did replace the Magnafuel 750 with a new one. Come to find out the fuel pump wasn't the issue. So I thought, screw it, why not get two Magnafuel 750s? Probably way overkill, but it'll resolve the issue for now until I figure out what's going on with the first pump. So I took the second Magna Fuel 750 that was inside the tank before and I mounted it externally. <laughs> that is loud. <laughs> so don't, don't mind the wiring. I'm going to clean up the wiring, but I just got everything installed. And what I'm doing is from where it was drained, there was a drain there before, I made that a feed line. Okay. And I tied it into the feed that was coming out of the behind the bars race car tank. Fuel pressure went up about seven PSI on the regulator, so I had to bring it back down, but now I'm gonna put the GoPro on the fender and see 
if there's any pressure drop because when I put it on the dyno after the second wide open throttle pull there was a decent amount of pressure drop at this regulator so now let me situate this guy live and put this guy down uh -huh. that'll gotta love GoPros to get to the data you need so we're gonna watch this closely and see if any pressure drop occurs what I'm hoping is that once it spikes up with boost it never drops under 75 or 70 psi I'll look at the log and hopefully I've resolved my fueling issue temporarily until I figure out why the in tank 750 setup is not working I think it has something to do with the way the pickup is designed in the tank it's just not not enough or not deep enough but we'll see how it goes let's uh, get a wide open throttle pull on this guy and go from there I'm 60, I know that. so let's look at that log if you know what a dyno log looks like obviously rpm is going to look pretty you know it's going to spike let's do it max out so you guys can get a sense of what's going on there there's a dyno pull so we're going to right click drag on that highlight it short-term fuel trims is that what i want to see that is the constant fueling correction that is happening if you are running out of fuel short trim fuel trim will start to trend up and this guy is trending actually down but how far down meaning it is actually pulling fuel means has plenty of fuel i bet you the correction is no more than two percent or so yep look at that 0.98 let me scroll to the right 0 0.96 0 0.97 it is money i'm telling you plenty of fuel plenty of fuel at wide open throttle with twin 750s so for now my fueling issues are pretty well remedied i probably have way more fuel pump than i'll ever need but i'd rather have more than not enough so now it's time to finish the car up get it ready for texas 2k i might go to the track and get a lick in and see how everything is doing suspension wise but for now fueling system fixed next time you'll see me guys if you see me out and about either at the track at pbir or next week at texas 2k thanks for listening guys talk to you later